What's up guys, Chris here. Today we're gonna to be checking out the new Farley 9.6. So this is a carbon fiber fat bike. You will not wanna miss this. If you are new to this channel, I review bikes, tech, and gear related to that. But let's get right into the brand new Farley 9.6. Trek's done a really fantastic job with this bike this year. There's a few key features that I'm going to point out and we'll go over. The paint job of this bike is fantastic. They've done a lot of nice little accenting with the oil slick to it, even including on the hub. And the part spec, they've actually got a pretty impressive setup on it. So with this one, you're going with the carbon fiber frame. So you gotta get that extra stiffness, cut some weight off there. So what have they done this year? There's no big changes to the previous model year if you've already seen a Farley 9.6. They have got the Eagle drivetrain on it, which is nice to have. You gotta get the extra wide 52 tooth setup on it. So instead of having the standard Eagle 50 tooth on there, you're actually getting the newest 52. They got some SRAM level TL brakes on there. So they're actually a pretty impressive brake. I always find with fat bikes in the winter, you do need a bit more powerful of a brake, especially as you get down to those colder temperatures. So it's nice to see they were able to put that on there. Now the big differences you'll see with like a Farley 5, 7, or coming up to this 9.6 is the tire choice. With these ones, they're going with Trexone Barbagazzi, which is a 4.5 inch wide, 27 and a half inch tire. More importantly, it is not studdable. The Farley 5s, have a studdable option to them where you just punch in the studs and you can go from there. Really great for commuting. Trail side, it does add some benefits, but it's definitely not as needed. Whereas the 9.6 is coming with this non studdable light to weight trail tire. So made for those faster speeds, groomed trails, little less traction, but much faster rolling. So Trek has done a really good job with the Farley series. If you're checking out the Farley 9.6, chances are you're looking for a trail bike. That is the big benefit with this one. It comes with a faster rolling tire to keep your speed up on the trails. If you're looking for more of a commuter bike, I would strongly suggest looking at a Norco Bigfoot or a Farley 5 just to get those studdable bigger tires stuck with it. The externally routed cables make it easy maintenance, especially you're normally in worse conditions than usual. But otherwise, this is a standard trail bike. You have the Excalibur kind of geometry with this, gives it a light, nimble turning radius. And it's gonna be agile in the trails, even in the summer, as well as in the winter. And then, again, we'll refer back to those tires. The Barbagazzi is a 4.5 inch wide, so it's still a big tire. You'll still be able to run those low pressures and get a good amount of traction with it. But on those harder packed snow days or a regular trail route, you're actually gonna have some fast rolling speed. This thing has a weight around the 30 pound mark, so you're in a very normal bike weight to it, even with these four and a half inch wide tires. Easy maintenance good brake set, and the extra low 52 tooth is gonna really make up in those tougher, more difficult sections where there's a deep snowy climb or deep sand. Having that extra, extra low gear is gonna make a huge difference compared to the old 11 or even the 50 tooth kind of setups. Trek has done a good job with this one. If you're looking for a commuter, I'd check out the Farley 5 we're gonna look at next, and that Really is just a tire change and going to an aluminum frame to keep the price down. A little more durable, obviously aluminum has no effect with the salt in the road or anything like that if it's a winter commuter. But the Carbon Farley keeps the weight down, makes it a stiff lightweight bike. And then more importantly, it is a trail bike. You could commute with it 100%, but more importantly, it's gonna feel and ride like a trail bike. You've got your drop post, you've got good brakes on there good tires, fast rolling, and a good geometry. Trek has really made a trail bike with a wide tire which won't feel like a fat bike. The color scheme on it is fantastic. They've managed to put some sort of blue clear coat over it so you can see the carbon underlay only when light is directly on it. Otherwise, it just looks like a clean bike. 
And then the little accenting details with the oil slick look really nice. So I think if anyone is looking for a fast trail bike, this could be a great option summer or winter. And obviously I would switch out those pedals to something you'd prefer. I'm actually surprised it even came with pedals. So I'm excited to see what Trek has in store for all the rest of the bikes for 2021. If you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. Comment below if there's a particular bike you want me to look at. I will try and make more videos coming winter so you can prep for the summer season. Plus over the winter, I will be doing more tech reviews themed towards bikes, but along with the camera stuff, just to show you what I'm working with and what I'm interested in. All right, my name's Chris, guys. Good luck out there.